Now, we have a very exciting thing going on here. We've got a bit of a zebra fight. And I'll tell you that the zebra fight was set off, I'm afraid, by the presence of a domestic dog that has since skedaddled. We're quite close to the boundary, of course, and this thing does happen, or that sort of thing does happen from time to time. But it got the zebras really upset with each other, and they have been kicking the stuffing out of each other. One of them took a horrible thwack to the jaw from a full-blooded sort of two-footed kick. I don't know, I mean, it looks, looks, now they are chasing that topi and each other. Yeah, look at that. Vicious creature. I mean, the topi's barely out of second gear. But they are very, very nasty, and the, the dog just set them off. Fascinating stuff. Initially, oh, I think I spotted a lion. Initially, I thought that was a, um, it is, oh, is it an old, is it? No, it's an eland. <laughs> Initially, I thought it was a jackal den that they'd come across, the zebras, but it wasn't. Anyway, let's just keep watching this little situation unfolding. It's quite, it's quite amazing. This really is quite astonishing stuff. And I still think that we, some of the zebra we're seeing here are part of the migratory herds. There are huge numbers still around, and I think that some of them are going to head south eventually as well and follow those wildebeest. And, of course, the Thompson's gazelles that have not bothered to arrive. Anyway... Look at them. There could be young, could be young males there at the front. In fact, most likely young males. Now, their teeth are, of course, extremely potent, and they're well, potent is probably a strong term, but they're certainly got very powerful jaws, and their teeth are very, very important weapons that they use. You see that vicious kick? I saw one of them take a full-blooded kick. Look at that. I promise you, if one of those connected with you, you wouldn't get up again. And there are two more having a vicious biting match. Something has really got them, really got them irritated. Anyway, I think it was the dog that set them off, but clearly they were on a knife edge as it was. I think these are largely young youngsters, young males. As is the case with most mammal species, of course, it is the young males that cause the most trouble. See the firm grip that that chap's got on the other one's mane? Very difficult to get out of. And as of course I've told the story before, the uh, animal most likely to hurt you if you happen to be a zookeeper around the world is in fact a zebra. Hurt more people uh, than any other zoo resident animal. They're coming back towards us now to gentle canter, biting and kicking and savaging. I mean, they're a long way away and I can hear the thwack. Hmm. Now, Extreme, Al Extreme Alexander, you're wondering if they have teeth like a horse. Yes, exactly, they're like a horse. So they look fairly innocuous. Jeepers. They look innocuous, but they are not. The teeth and jaws are very powerful. And I suppose what makes them slightly different from most of the herbivores get out here is that they, are, of course, are not ruminants, and they have teeth on both top and bottom, whereas many of the ruminants have only got the bottom incisors. They don't have the top. They've just got a pad that they kind of use. And I think that probably makes a difference to how potent the bite of a zebra is, because I mean, we don't normally think of herbivores as having very powerful jaws, but, of course, they must do because they get exercised day in and day out, in the constant chewing motion. Now, I've also said this before, but I don't know if any of you have been bitten by a horse. If you have, you would surely never have forgotten it. And they've got immensely powerful bites, and I suspect these chaps have got even more so. 
wrestling each other down to the ground, kicking. It's a fight for dominance, I guess. I can't see any youngsters in that group, and I wonder if it isn't just a very large group of young stallions. Perhaps one or two unattached females as well. And the dominant male of this lot, when he eventually emerges, well, he'll probably leave with those females. All right, let's head straight back across to Scott. He has got some dozing lions.